I've been with my current girlfriend Amy, 24 female, for about two and a half years now. Five months ago, she got pregnant under what would widely be regarded as terrible circumstances. I don't want to get into it, but I'll make it clear that it's not something to be hashed out in the comments section. There is no responsibility on her shoulders, and I am willing to help her raise this baby. Anyways, we moved back in with my parents so she could have some extra support while I worked on getting us a more permanent place to live. She's been having a fairly rough time with her pregnancy, and I really regret not being able to spend more time at home. My parents love to dote on her, though, and she was ecstatic to spend time with my family over Thanksgiving. My older sister, Natasha, is also pregnant. She's three months along and has had it relatively easy, especially when compared to my girlfriend. Her morning sickness is essentially non-existent. She and her husband are well off enough that they take tons of time off work to be together, and their pregnancy was planned and not traumatizing. Amy has been swapping pregnancy tips with her though, and they've been getting along really well, even if they haven't had much face-to-face -face time. My whole family came over for Thanksgiving, my sister and her husband, aunts and uncles, etc. It was really loud and hectic, and Amy is still experiencing some morning sickness. During dinner prep, Natasha gave Amy the cold shoulder because she wasn't helping as much with prep. I asked Amy if she wanted to lie down because she was talking about how tired and sick she was feeling. Natasha snapped that it was family time, and some people might think it would be rude. Amy agreed and stuck it out like a champ. We sat down for dinner, and my brother's four-year-old son started screeching his head off. My brother had told him not to stick his fingers in the mashed potatoes, and it led to a tantrum. Natasha started joking to Amy that that was how our baby was going to be, and Amy just laughed along. All of my relatives are very loud and aggressive, and they kept questioning Amy about her pregnancy. All the noise and stress gave her a headache, and she started feeling super sick again. My mom went to go ask if she wanted to lie down. Amy said yes, and my mom told me to stay and keep up with hosting while she helped out with Amy. Natasha immediately started complaining about how Amy isn't part of the family and how she doesn't deserve so much attention. She talked about how when she was feeling sick, our mom just sent her tea recipes and advice, rather than actually helping out. Note: Natasha lives three hours away. I asked her politely to stop being so rude, and she told me to shut up. She went on about how Amy's baby wasn't even mine, and I was raising some deadbeat dad's kid. I reminded her that the circumstances weren't pleasant, and I didn't want to discuss them. My aunt piped in and demanded to know what they were. I tried to shut the interrogation down, but she was really insistent, and I just tried to gray rock them. Then Natasha started getting ugly. She said that if our mom wouldn't stop being so partial to Amy, then she'd never let anyone in the family see her baby. I told her that wasn't my issue, she had to talk to our mom, and she yelled that I didn't care either. She asked where I had been for her pregnancy announcement party, different than a baby shower apparently, and when I reminded her that Amy was dealing with really severe morning sickness, she just got even angrier and like a child, started yelling, Amy, 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 it's all about Amy. My mom came back into the room and asked my sister to keep it down. She couldn't hear what had been said, but it was apparently really loud from Amy and I's room. Natasha became furious and yelled at her to stop being so nice to Amy. My mom asked her to go into the kitchen and talk about it because she was humiliating herself. Natasha's husband stood up and said that our parents were disrespecting Natasha in front of everyone. They took their mostly full Tupperware, yelled at people to leave if they agreed with the unfair treatment, and left. After dinner, I went to check on Amy. She asked what had gone on because she just heard a lot of screaming. I told her exactly what happened, and she started sobbing. She was already really upset over having missed what was her first Thanksgiving with my family. We usually do stuff with her parents, and she thought she and Natasha had some sort of bond. I felt horrible and reminded her it wasn't her fault. She nodded, said it was okay, etc. But I knew it wasn't, and I'm just furious that Natasha would pull this. Natasha texted me later and said verbatim, We worked really hard to have a baby, and you ruined all of this for me and husband. Amy made a mistake, and these are the consequences. She doesn't deserve anything more than I get. Nothing. You ruined Thanksgiving. Aunt, uncle, grandmother are very mad at you right now. I'm simply disappointed. I haven't texted her back yet, 
but I want to tell her off. There was always the expectation that my family wouldn't be sympathetic to what happened with Amy, and I knew that from the get-go. The family members she listed in her text are very conservative and very traditional. They have told me explicitly that they think Amy and I will burn in hell, and Natasha knows how badly that upsets me. Natasha was always there for me, so this is sort of out of the blue. There was always a little rivalry between us, but she was always more in your face about what she wanted. If she had what she wanted, she really liked to brag. When she first got pregnant, if I sent an ultrasound to our family group text, she'd send another, or send an update on her basically non-existent belly. She's a huge one-upper, but this kind of behavior is really unusual. It's mostly just pettiness and passive aggressiveness. Either way, this is the worst, and so is she. I want to tell her to buzz off forever, but I don't know if that's appropriate for the first strike. She's also pregnant, probably hormonal, etc. But she sent her text after she had time to cool down, so I don't think it's spur of the moment hormonal rage. Amy feels like crap about the whole thing and wants to apologize to Natasha with a gift basket for her baby or something. Is it wrong to tell my sister to get effed for this? Or should I just try and resolve it peacefully? Is it just water off a duck's back and I'm just unnecessarily upset? Advice, please. Edit and small update. A bit of background. I know I've supplied a lot. My family is Russian Orthodox. Some of them still live in Russia. They choose to visit during Thanksgiving because my family in America has become less Orthodox as the years have gone on and our Christmas celebrations don't align with theirs, and they prefer to celebrate with their church. I'm lucky enough not to speak any Russian, but Natasha learned in college and is the favorite of our relatives for it. Before anybody came, I sent out a mass email telling everyone a brief description of what happened, asked them not to bring it up with Amy, and specified it was not cheating. Natasha knew exactly what happened. She was not living in the dark whatsoever. As for the update, I texted my family group text asking if people in town still wanted to get lunch as Amy still felt left out and some of our relatives were staying with other relatives in the text chain. Natasha responded, we will not be attending. Grandmother is so upset about this entire ordeal that she's in tears. You've hurt us all very deeply and we hope that you and Amy will come forward with apologies in the near future. Otherwise, this wound will never heal. For some added color, she left my grandmother at our house when she stormed out. My brother had to drive her the three hours out because all of her medicines and such were left at Natasha's house. Wow, this would merit an immediate cease contact from me. No one who says this about your partner deserves a place in your life. This goes way beyond whatever pregnancy hormones are driving your sister. This is nastiness in her soul that's just now coming into full bloom. If I were you, I'd ignore the text completely and any subsequent texts or calls. If your parents push you to reconcile, print off that text, put it in a sweet little picture frame and mail it to them as a reminder of why that won't happen. She's not even sorry and she doubled down on her viciousness after her precious little tantrum. No thank you. Have a nice life. My husband and I got married two years ago. He has two daughters one who is in her late 20s, and the other, Sarah, is 18. I have a son and a daughter from a previous marriage who are 10 and 14. My son and daughter live with me and my husband. My husband's older daughter lives with her husband in another state and is financially independent, and his younger daughter lives with her mom about an hour away. My husband's eldest daughter was in her mid-20s when I met her, and we get along well. She's a nice girl, and we have similar personalities. My husband's younger daughter, Sarah, was 17 when we got married, and I haven't had much of a bond with her. She was very rude to me in the beginning, but has since calmed down a bit. She has a lot of loyalty to her mom, so she's just kind of living her own life and doing her teenage young adult stuff and isn't looking for a mother figure in her new stepmom. Sarah visits our house once or twice a year, but meets up with her dad, my husband, all the time. Sarah graduated from high school this year and a couple of months ago asked my husband what he could put towards her college education. My husband said he would get back to her on it. That night, he said, well, we're going to need to give at least $20,000 to Sarah. I don't want her saddled down with student loans. Kristen, his ex-wife, said she can cover $5,000 and we'll have to give the rest. My husband makes about a quarter of what I do, so I asked him, 
Do you have that much money saved up? Reference, we keep our finances separate. He said, no, aren't you going to help out? This is where I'm going to sound really bad, but honestly, I don't have much of a relationship at all with Sarah. She was 17 when we met, and she had no interest in talking to me, so I stopped trying to reach out after a while. While I do make a lot more money than my husband does, I also pay a lot more of the bills, which I've never held over his head. I'll be honest, I could afford the 15 k a year for Sarah's college, but I have zero contact with her and haven't had a one-on-one -on -one conversation lasting more than 10 minutes with her ever. I feel that money would be better used saving it for our immediate family. On a side note, I've never asked my husband to pay anything for my kids. My husband is upset and this has been an issue now for a few months. This is one of those things I can't believe people don't settle before getting married. You've only been married for two years. She was almost an adult when you got married, and you have separate finances. I don't think you're obligated to contribute. Her parents did nothing to prepare her for college education. That's their failure, and she suffers the consequences. You're not really involved, strictly speaking. Backstory my parents and she and her husband were best friends before I was even born. Her husband died. Years later, mine divorced. Now my dad and she are married. So we have all known each other my whole life and been fairly close, spent much time together. When I was in my late teens, I heard through my then boyfriend that she had made an unflattering comment about me to him, something reflecting the difference between how I choose to live versus how she did. After a lengthy chain of events, I had to, briefly, move back in with her and my dad after a bout of travel so I could get a job and my own place again. She was behaving cold and distant, then finally kicked me out for the most part, never really giving me any reason. My dad just sat back and watched the whole thing transpire, not getting involved. My relationship with her went through bouts of good and bad. Fast forward. Everyone seems to get along fine these days. She and I have spent time together, and I had to kind of let go of any BS for the sake of having a relationship with my dad. She isn't my favorite person, but I guess she isn't all bad either. A few years ago, I moved back from out of state and in with a new boyfriend pretty quickly. I was job hunting and pretty broke, and for Christmas, she gave me two big boxes of food. I actually appreciated not having to buy food for a bit. When I told my current significant other of this, he was floored that she would do such a thing. Like, go through the pantry and basically clean out everything that wasn't going to be used before expiration, box it, wrap it up, and give it to me as a gift. I had never really been offended by it until he explained why he felt it was an insult. Usually, gifts from her aren't anything I want or need. Ugly jewelry, handbags, scarves. This year was no different. It's almost like I'm a dumping ground for weird crap. She gave me three kinds of face wash I'm kinda sure are old. Expired coconut curd and a variety of other random stuff. It's turned into somewhat of a joke, and I don't take it personally, but my significant other pointed out, do you think she wraps up her old food and gives it to her own daughter? That got me thinking and feeling kind of hurt. I've always thought she had some deep-seated dislike for me, but just let it go. Is she subliminally trying to tell me something? It feels to me that she is one of those stepmoms that wants her family to be your dad's only family, and that's why she is passive aggressive with you. You're a reminder that your dad had a life before her. It's your call if you want to deal with that for the rest of your life. I personally wouldn't, and I would tell my dad exactly why I wouldn't be talking to them anymore. My wife and I were married back in August 2007. Our relationship pre-marriage and for a few years after marriage was excellent. We were very close to each other, spent a lot of time together. Then, over the years, we started to drift away. I pushed hard to find stuff for us to do together, but my wife wasn't interested. It came a time where I often would come home from work and not speak to her once because she would be on her laptop. S and our marriage basically became non-existent. During the entire time, I was not okay with our arrangement but my wife was. She said she enjoyed her home life, our financial success, etc. I laid everything out for her and told her I wanted a divorce. That eventually sparked a conversation where she basically told me, why not open up the relationship? I can go get my passion from someone else while we both share a stable life. 
For the nine months, I didn't pursue anyone, and I don't think my wife ever thought I would be able to find someone. Then I downloaded a dating app, and I eventually started meeting some people. Most of the people were not okay with the arrangement, but I did eventually find someone, not through the app, but through a different department at my workplace. Me and her have hit it off. All of my weekends I end up spending with her, and she honestly makes me so much more happier than my wife. We have been together for eight months now. Through the entire time we have been together, I have been completely honest with my wife about the arrangement. Now I told her that I think our relationship, me and wife, is over. When I told her this, she started shouting and crying. She told me she will ruin me and my W if we try to do anything stupid. She then told her parents that I have had a mistress this entire time, and now I want a divorce for this girl. And now her parents, whom are wealthy, want to ruin me if I don't drop this girl and recommit to my wife. I don't know what to do. Her parents know lawyers. They have photographs of them with our governor. I honestly am scared for my own sake and my girlfriend's. I don't know where to go from here. Please, I could use your assistance. Hire a lawyer and just get a divorce. Also, unless you commit a crime, how can they ruin you? I, 27 female, and my sister, 27 female, are identical twins. She has been told by almost everyone that she is the more beautiful one. My parents favor her more and will do anything that she asks. I used to be jealous of her when I was younger, but quickly got over it. She went on to attend college and got engaged after graduating. I wasn't invited to her wedding. She told me it was because they were having food I couldn't eat. My parents threw her a huge wedding that cost hundreds. She and her ex went through a ton of hard times. I tried to be there for moral support, but each time she pushed me away. I am now engaged to my fiance, 28 female. Her parents offered to help with wedding expenses. My parents wanted nothing to do with our wedding. My sister found out we were engaged and started begging me if she could be bridesmaid. I told her no, but she would receive an invite. She blew up on the phone at me that I was choosing friends over family and she deserved to be a bridesmaid. My parents called me and told me to let my sister be a bridesmaid. Am I the a-hole for not letting my sister be a bridesmaid? Not the a-hole. Tell her that you have food she can't eat.